This pandemic has slowed air travel at MSP to a crawl. The once bustling airport has been cleared out by COVID-19, leaving behind near empty concourses and boarding areas. David Schumann takes us behind the TSA checkpoints to show us how dire the situation is and why the end of the stay at home order offers some hope. Only one here. <laughs> this is place is empty. Talk about leg room. Charlie French said she felt like a VIP on her flight from Tampa. There were a total of six empty rows and every seat that was taken, it was um, aisle in a window, aisle in a window. There was nobody in the middle seats at all. We went through security to speak to Charlie at her gate. We also met Cynthia Fennell, who's heading to Chicago after three recent deaths in the family. She says none were COVID related. I'm just trying to get there and get through it. Their ticket fares are helping an industry on life support. At MSP, air travel is down 92% from a year ago, meaning that for every 100 passengers then, there are eight now. Once busy concourses are closed too, temporary casualties of the disruptive virus. Situations like 9-11, this is a very, this is a much deeper uh, dive. Fewer travelers means fewer parking fees, means fewer purchases at stores and restaurants. Always the airport makes money, but no employees have been furloughed. The hope for MSP leaders is the end of stay at home will mean sunny skies ahead. It really is about uh, what can we do as an industry, as an aviation industry to make people comfortable about flying uh, again. For Charlie, the masks are big. Keeping me safe, keep everyone else safe. All airport and TSA employees are required to wear masks. Travelers aren't, although at a few airports around the country, that rule has been made. It's being considered here. At MSP Airport, David Schumann, WCCO 4 News. The airport CEO says travel this week was up about 3 or 4% from its lowest point.